so I wanted to give Kareem Abdul-Jabbar his due because he he sold four, he auctioned off four of his championship rings for his Skyhook Foundation, which will benefit children. And I think that is an incredible gesture by not only arguably the greatest player ever, but also a man that has words and wisdom and knowledge. If you've ever followed Captain, as he's nicknamed and known in Laker lore, and what he represented on the court, you know the man was always about giving back. He was bigger. Civil rights leader, yes. Stood up for change, yes. Somebody that stayed humble, didn't get caught up in a la-la Hollywood la-la land. He played in there, but he never gave the media them the time of day. So this is very good to hear that this brother is very noble. Um, you know, as we end the end there Black History Month, this is something to really dignify. And as a matter of fact, um, his books that he was an author of for Black History, and he's done it, Courage Under Fire, and, and those books. I bought those books, <clears throat> pardon me, back in the 90s, early 00s, and he I always put emphasis on jazz and history and knowledge. So Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has always been about his word, always represented what he's seeing. He, he wasn't a sugar coder, and he didn't always go for, you know, easy runs with anything. He, um, I was a deep-minded soul brother. And if you remember, back in the day, he was with Jim Brown, Bill Russell, Muhammad Ali. He stood up, you know. He changed his name in a time when it wasn't fashionable. And it still isn't, really. But he really did in a time, you know, he dominated. Um, when I say he's, you can call him the greatest, he's one of those 10 to 12 guys that you can call the greatest player ever because his is unique because his debate is really high because he dominated um, high school, college, and the pros. He was the man won on all levels, but he's also won in real life too. I mean, outside the court, he's he's done. He's been very humble, and and so this gesture, the Skyhook Foundation, he's not going broke. He doesn't need the money. He just said, I don't want to have to walk around a whole bunch of jewelry in a trophy room when I can use that to help others. And I thought, man. That's an incredible gesture. You don't hear this racist media talking about it much. I wonder why. Hmm. You know, because when a black person gives back, <clears throat> excuse me, and really is about giving back to community and doing something and it isn't getting the same attention and fanfare, it's not as all blown up. Especially when in the NBA. Because the NBA wants everything to be pandered to NBA cares and all this and they sell their propaganda. But this man... That's 30 years past his retirement, dignified, gone on with his life. And he said, you know what? I want to give back to these children. So with the Skyhook Foundation, he auctioned off his reins to help. <clears throat> so put some respect by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's name. That's a very gentleman, talented, and also a classy gesture by one of the most important athletes, speakers, authors, and civil rights leaders I've ever known, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Feel free to leave them comments, hit that subscribe. Peace.